Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Yeah. Even as he's seated at the throne of heaven now, he's not quoting scriptures, he's making intercession. That is the value he has for prayer, even though being the word. Are we together? So the first way we open closed doors in this kingdom is the use of the right keys. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 7, please. Revelation 3, 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, we read that earlier, but let's just read again for emphasis. This thing saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David. There's a separate teaching coming on that, so I'm not going to talk so much about that. The Bible says by that key he can open and no man can shut and he can shut and no man can open. It takes more than desire for doors to be open. It takes the right key. Someone say the right key. Luke eleven fifty two. Luke chapter 11 please and verse 52. Woe unto you lawyers. Jesus is speaking. For ye have taken away the key of knowledge. So keys there refer to a body of truth, a body of knowledge. It says, ye entered not in yourself through that knowledge and them that were entering you have hindered. So he was rebuking the scribes and the Pharisees, the doctors of the law at that time. And he was telling them, listen, you have, you have taken away the key of knowledge, access to knowledge. That means that knowledge is supposed to usher you into realms to open doors for you. You didn't enter yourself and you have restricted those who desire to enter. The right key. In the name of Jesus, my prayer for someone this year is that God will grant you grace to find the right key. Please shout a believing amen. That God will grant you grace to find the right key. Many of you have been holding keys, but could it be that the key you have been holding is not for the door you are looking for? And I will give you the keys of the kingdom. The keys of the kingdom. In most large houses, they put all their keys together or at least maybe one, one each of the keys and they put it together in a bunch and keep it somewhere safe. Is that true? Yes. So that you can have it within your reach. If it's the main door you are opening, you have it there. If it's the kitchen door, the bathroom door, you have it there. For most of us, you have been given these keys, but because of carelessness, you scattered your keys like the bones in Ezekiel's valley, and you cannot construct it together to become something exceedingly great. This is the year God is granting you grace to gather them together. Hallelujah. The first way we open closed doors is through the use of the right keys. This talks of knowledge. This talks of understanding. This talks of faith. You need knowledge and you need understanding. It is my prayer and my determination this year to bring light like never before. Truth upon truth, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, to the end that God will grant us grace that with light we will be able to rise. The Bible says that we are able to show the praises of him that has called us from darkness into his light. Hallelujah. Number two, how do we open closed doors? Are you ready? The second way according to scripture that closed doors are opened is by knocking. By knocking. Knocking here means obtaining help from men through mercy and favor. Don't forget this. The second way that closed doors are opened is by knocking. Every time you knock a door, it is because you do not have the power to open it yourself. If you have a key, you do not need anybody helping you. Are we together now? Once you have a key, you do not need anybody helping you. The key itself will open. In fact, sometimes you don't even need to speak. The moment there is a key, the door opens. But the moment you do not have a key and you need that door open, another system that God put is to knock. Because the one who opens has access to the door. 
but now you need entrance but you do not have the key is someone learning now knocking knocking talks about obtaining help from men through the ministry of mercy and favor we already looked at matthew 7 from verse 7 to 8 the bible says knock and it shall be open to you you are not the one who will open it it shall be open to you there are doors that need to be opened but not by you directly they must be open for you the most important thing is that they are open so that you will enter at such points Playing around with a key, around a door that you don't have authority over, will only waste your time. What you need to do is to knock. The Bible says in verse 8, For everyone that knocketh, it shall be opened. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is where the ministry of mercy and favor comes. There are doors you need opened by all means, but you may not have the spiritual capacity. You don't have the key. But there are people that have the key. What you need to do is to master the art of knocking. Those who can knock will have many doors open that is not credited to their personal efforts. There are people behind at the other side of that door. They have access to it. All you need to do is to learn how to knock. Is someone learning? 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 12. 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 12. Furthermore, he said, Paul was speaking now, giving them a story. I just picked a verse that I found interesting there. It says, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, it says, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. Who opened the door for him? The Lord. The door was open, but he never mentions using a key to open that door. He says it was open unto me. In fact, one last scripture, Revelation 3 and verse 20. Very popular scripture, Revelation 3, 20. Behold, I stand. Who is speaking here? Jesus, standing at the door of your heart and knock. Because even though he's the creator of the ends of the earth, when he created man, he made you a free moral agent. That even though he is God, it becomes scripturally incorrect for him to budge into your life. And he's patient enough. If God knocks, you must learn how to knock. There are certain doors that you will need to hide your pride and knock this year. There are doors of grace, doors of power, because it is only those who knock that will have that door open. Is someone learning? Not every door. Every door may respond to keys, but you may not have the privilege of access to every key. Yet you need every door that should be open, open. So you must know how to knock. To knock requires patience. To knock requires persistence. Is someone learning now? Let's go to Luke 11 and finish up the scripture that we started now. God is giving someone wisdom already. Matthew chapter, I mean Luke chapter 11 from verse 7. Now, remember our story? Where the guy began to knock and say, please help me with three loaf of bread. I want to give my friend. And the man said, trouble me not. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed are you seeing that that door was positively closed for the man and his children but with respect to the one who needs help that door needs to be opened he said i cannot rise and give thee what did the man do i say unto you though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend yet because of his importunity the word importunity is the word persistence he said he will rise and give him as many he asked for three but he said you can even get more by knocking your intention was to get three loaf but knocking is so powerful it can give you more knocking does not only give you a job it can create a destiny for you Is someone learning knock to everyone that knocks Matthew 7 7 and 8 when you read amplified it says ask and keep asking seek and keep seeking it says knock and keep knocking and the door will be open unto you is someone learning 
knocking talks of obtaining help from men listen as far as the opening of doors are concerned you will need the ministry of mercy and the ministry of favor the ministry of mercy and the ministry of favor there are many doors you will encounter in your life and your destiny that you may not have the key yet that door needs to be opened you will have to knock if i come to your office for instance i will have to knock at the door and then you come and open is that true when you open it is your opening that gives me access that means i must pray for something to happen to your heart for that door to be opened the friend here said i know you are my friend but i'm sorry right now i'm in bed with my children my apologies go away and the man kept May God put it in the heart of someone this year to rise up and see to it that every closed door is open over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You heard some of the testimonies here. Let me tell you, I have taught you and I will keep teaching you till it enters your spirit that all blessings come from God through men to men. To men. Believe me, men can be used by God to open doors doors very strange doors of opportunity may that be your testimony Amen. are you ready for number three how do we open closed doors the third is by supernatural power the third way doors are open is by the ministry of warfare and power the supernatural power of god because there are doors especially demonic doors that will not open except and unless force is engaged acts chapter 6 from verse 25 acts chapter 6 and verse 25 give it to us please acts 6 25 Acts 16, my apologies, 16, 25. Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang unto God and the prisoners heard them. There were many prisoners in that prison. Some were interested in going out. Others were interested in remaining there. Paul and Silas said, no way, we will not remain here. Verse 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake in a prison so that the foundations of the prison were shaken a key cannot do this one there are a key can quietly open the door but when it is supernatural power both the door the foundation of the house must know that it is God coming in the name of Jesus I prophesy to someone it is not only keys that will open some doors the great power of God is about to swing open ancient doors in the name of Jesus Christ give us that scripture so that the foundations of the prison were take, were shaken when it is the power of god the doors do not open one by one he said and all doors were open no key but power don't you think keys are the only ways doors are open when the power of God comes, it may not be the time of the stirring of the water, but you will still say stand up. You don't need to wait once per year. There is a supernatural dimension to opening doors. There are times when keys fail. There are times when the hearts of men fail. At that time, resort to the one who can send an earthquake from heaven to the earth. It's not only a door that he opens. The Bible says the foundations of the prison. And immediately, when it is God, it does not take time. Immediately, immediately, not later, not next week, not next month. Immediately, hold on please. Please, ladies and gentlemen, think about this. I watch this. Sometimes, in my own boring way, my apologies, I just 
you know sometimes i'm watching videos i like to watch videos of demolitions of houses large structures and then sometimes these these you know the 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 machines that squeeze metals and just break them and i i have never been i get so amazed that a car will be put in that machine and in less than one minute it will squeeze it like a rack i have seen many of you here construction engineers and you know that it can take three years five years ten years 30 years to build a skyscraper and in a moment using explosives you watch it come down everybody watch 9 11 in a moment it came down when it is god he has no time to come key by key the entire foundation must go down my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by we have seen what happens when doors are open a key can only open one door at a time listen if there are 10 doors you will have to go and open one there are doors that you have to turn them three times and superior security doors like we have today they use iris fingerprints all kinds of things it will take a while many of you here are into security and logistics you don't if, if you are if you are you go to the bulk room of a bank for instance you're not going to turn a key two times for it to be open no for some of you your loved ones found the key but the time it would take for that key to work they died trying to open that door it was a right key but all the things to engage with respect to time notice the character of the power of God they prayed and they sang God never called the jailer God never asked the strength of the foundation who designed it that is none of his business they prayed and they sang and God said clear the way in listen listen in Acts chapter 12 you see when Peter was bound hand and feet it was an angel that was sent there was no earthquake prayers was made without season and an angel came he opened the doors and they went out but when God came who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will who can stand who can stand against our King no one can hear me let me speak to someone this year your family is about to experience something that those who have been bound i'm speaking prophetically age long captivities that have tied people down in the name of jesus the mighty warrior the terrible one will arise as a warrior that he is and the foundations of many families will be rattled everything that has not been planted by God must give way all doors all doors when it is God, it must insist that all doors open. All doors. This is not a year to celebrate some doors and leave others. All doors. All doors. Mention some of the doors that must open. Thank God for the ones that opened last year. All doors. All doors. Someone is prophesying for one minute. All doors. All doors. All doors by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A, a scripture just came to my spirit. I believe that should be Judges 16 and verse 3. Samson. 
although it was not a very nice story unfortunately but the bible says samson removed the door of the gate look for it for us yes at me he says he laid at midnight the philistines were gathering round he said i will he not only you want to fight me i will show you the one who has strengthened me i will not only open the, i will remove the door the Bible says he removed the doors of the gate of the city and climbed a hill and kept it up. Now you are ready to pray. Psalm 24 verse 7. Psalm 24 verse 7. Lift up your heads. Not give me a key. This situation is not just about a key. Not where is my destiny helper. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory, hear me, hear me, please look up. Let me tell you what this means. There are doors that you try to enter and you try to use a key ordinarily it should open but because there is a spirit behind it even when you are using a key it does not open there are times that you knock and men should help you and because there is a spirit their hearts are hardened like pharaoh and they will not open the door to the job the door to that opportunity do you know what god does he says move let me be the one to enter because you see question when god comes as a savior he knocks but when he comes as a warrior he breaks understand this there is jesus the savior who will knock at the door of your heart gently but when he stands before obstacles i sense the power of god so strong in this place now lift up your heads ancient gates ancient gates ancient doors lift up your heads ancient doors the king of glory the king of glory the king of glory hallelujah listen we're about to pray pay attention now please look up so i have taught you that there are three biblical ways to open closed doors never forget this for the rest of your life number one is by the application of kingdom principles keys many doors will already be opened by the application of keys there are times that you may not need keys but you need people who are the uh, other side of the door the ministry of men the ministry of mercy and favor but let me tell you the truth most of the doors that represent defining moments in the lives of men are not an issue of key or men they are issues of spirits spirits nobody has ever risen from this family like that let 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 us be the protectors of this covenant that anybody that must rise from this family must serve this idol and if you now come and say you will serve the living god that ah in the name of jesus may the mighty warrior arise 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 in power arise arise in grace arise arise in glory hallelujah now please show me the design of the prophetic word can you display the design the cover design you will tell me of these three which one has opened the door that you are about to see then i will share with you the vision that led to this prophetic word and we'll pray can you find the design just the cover design for this if you can find it put it for us please I was praying and preparing as I would always do to receive a prophetic word. Please pay attention now. And I was caught up in the spirit and I had a vision. And in this vision, I had like a, you know, a door, giant door. And then I saw these ancient keys 
um, one time in London I was given a few people gave me a, a key just to represent the mysteries of the kingdom so they gave me as a gift you know these Europeans value a lot of these things we don't value them in Nigeria once it doesn't bring money directly we don't care <laughs> but they gave me this bunch of very old keys I think they used maybe for castles or something so they made it and gave me as a memorial to just know that you know custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom so I have it somewhere I just I just keep it there and um, and so I saw a key like that and it opened the door then the second time I did not see a key again all I had was boom like the door was hit and I just saw light then I saw the word open doors that's how I knew that God was speaking to us this year that it will be the year of open doors let me tell you if you have if you have never seen a prophetic word come to pass let this be the year you see it come to pass in your life. hallelujah when I called our people to design for the prophetic word I insisted that certain things be captured in that design to reflect the vision that I saw the key word for these open doors is all doors open not just open doors all doors all doors all doors what does this mean let me tie this up now so that we'll pray listen carefully now you may sit for a moment so that when you rise next we rise to pray when you stand in front of a closed door i said when you stand in front of a closed door the first thing you need is discernment when you stand in front of a closed door the first thing you need is not action the first thing you need is discernment is this door closed for preservation closed to add value or is this a demonic door that is an impedance a hindrance to my progress it will guide you to be able to know what tool to use if the door was locked with keys then what you need will be keys to open it if there are men at the other side of the door then you will need to master the art of knocking but if there are spirit entities and covenants that have stood at the back of that door you see if you open a door with a key it can be closed again but when a door is broken your children and your children's children can pass there are many people listen if in a family of 20 or 30 people one person maneuvers his way and forces that door to open and it closes behind him you did not do much he said as for me and my house the blessing will always be for you and your house hallelujah Allah as for me and my house please help those under the anointing it's for me and my house it says I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders in Israel it is not just one person I and everybody when I was praying in the my pre preparing receiving this prophetic word for my own life I prayed for every one of you in the spirit you see can you see two doors open and you can see the Holy Spirit as a sign of the supernatural power of God are you seeing that it was so open that it's not only one person that passed I'm not an artist but I, I know when you see some things you force it to be reflected there it is not only one person question when that demonic door called the Red Sea opened how many people passed talk to me please how many people passed there was not one covenant person who was left the way the Red Sea opened should tell you it was a door not a river rivers move but this one opened heater and teeter on dry ground the Red Sea was a mystery in the spirit that was why Pharaoh had confidence that these guys cannot pass remember the Nile is Egypt is a place of wizardry they had covenants with serpents they had covenants with the elements of creation Moses knew that no kind of architecture will move the water to where now 
was a red sea for a reason but God said no that means there are many things you will see that look like doors but if God helps you to look you will find out they are not really doors they are just spirits masquerading as doors opened it hither and thither when God opens a door it is enough for everybody everybody in the prison was not praying everybody in the prison was not singing but when God came even those who provided they were in the vicinity that means there are some of your family members they may not even be born again but when my God I don't know about your own God but when my God arises and shows up this year there are doors that will open that your children's children will eat from as many as are far off in the name of Jesus Christ all doors including the one that is not your business provided it came under the covering of your prayer all doors all doors what is your business with your neighbors rising all doors all doors all doors financial doors there are people who have struggled in ministry i'm saying this prophetically you have done everything with the integrity of heart and it looks like those doors are not opening help them i decree and declare by the mantle that came with this prophetic word in the name of jesus strange doors will begin to open for you hear me there are businesses that lost money last year lost opportunity last year you are saying God I do not even know how to start you don't need one or two doors the situation you are in now even if two doors open it may not be enough in the name of Jesus let the all door anointing the all door anointing the all door anointing let it rest upon you please do not be careless with prophetic words this year not everybody is joking and playing games there are words that come from the bowel of prayer and contact with the spirit all doors all doors using all your money to treat your health because the devil wants to kill you don't keep quiet and die as if you are not a believer this door of health you must open up this year this is a year you should not listen to all that nonsense and say it has always been like that there is power to change it it has always been like that that if you do not have a key prison doors don't open except that when God comes he rewrites rules again hallelujah all doors all doors this is what God has said. In your academic play, grace to run like Elijah. In your job, grace, 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 grace. In your career, the grace of the Lord. Step into visions, step into dreams, joy overflowing in the name of Jesus. Your days of discouragement are over. Your days of mourning are over. As a servant of the Lord, I bring those days to an end. I interrupt your life with a prophetic word. Arise, shine, arise. Shine, arise, shine, arise, shine. The glory of the Lord is upon you. 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 Mount up with wings as eagles. Mount up with wings as eagles. You will roll and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. 
They that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish like the cedars of Lebanon. They that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish. Hallelujah. Mark my word. This will happen days from now. It will be an avalanche. Not on a few. Not on a few. Prosperity is coming. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. New levels of anointing. I hear the sound. Scrolls are being opened in the spirit. Portals of favor. Portals of grace. We shout grace. We shout grace. At the shout of grace. Koinonia, grace unto you. Koinonia, grace unto you. Grace and peace be multiplied to you. Grace and peace move at the speed of grace beyond what you want for, beyond your connection, beyond who you know. I bring families out of dungeons of failure, dungeons of poverty. Let the book of remembrance be opened over families. Let the book of remembrance be opened for your faithfulness. Let the book of remembrance be opened for your diligence. Let the book of remembrance be opened for thou, O Lord, art a shield for us. For thou, O Lord, art a shield for us. For our glory, the lifter up of our head, and my head shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and my head shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and my head shall thou exalt, shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, he makes me lie down, he makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside the quiet waters, he restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness, for his name's sake, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness, mercy, prosperity, influence, increase, grace, glory, honor, and grace. Follow me. I pray, take it, take it, brother. Come on, pray. Just for one more minute, just for one more minute, I take it over. God. I take it over. God. I believe your word. I position my spirit. I open the door. I am the children that the Lord has given me. We are for signs and wonders in Israel. Before you this day, blessing and cursing. I said before you this day, life and death. But I advise you choose life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. I just want us to sing one song. Just one song. As a sincere cry. Lord, step in to the impossible. Oh, yes. Come on, provoke the hand of God. 
change the story of families. Break through. Break through. Let there be a ray of prophetic breakthrough of a night miracles by the power of God. Sing it as I prophesy to you. I speak as the servant of God under the abundance of place that have been given. Let every door that has been closed over your life I command gates I command doors be opened. Let the windows of heaven, the windows of abundance, the windows of grace, the windows of influence, the windows of peace, the windows of power, the windows of speed, I provoke it in your spirit. Sing it from your heart. Sing it from your heart. Lord, step in. Lord, step in. In the lives of people. Ideas. Connections. Praise. Praise. One more time. One more time. hold our hands as a family of faith lift it up to God we are agreeing we are saying Lord step in God is not a man that you should lie lift it as high above your head we are going to sing this song together are you ready now Lord step in as a family of faith my God let there be a race of breakthrough prophetic season of abundance, prophetic season of increase, while the tears of famine shed stories of our lives. lifted up my God and my King I pray I did not call myself you have called me and you gave me a revelation of this word the Bible says bless ye the Lord the angels who excel in strength the Bible says who confirmed the words of his messengers please keep the hands lifted Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I prophesy. Lord God of Israel. It was like this many years ago. When our father Solomon stood in front of that temple. And on behalf of the nation of Israel he cried unto you. My God I pray. As a family of faith. For we are serving a living God. His name is Jesus Christ. He died and he rose. I am Just sing it one more time. I am serving a living God. His name is He died and He rose. In the name that is above all names I lay my hands upon this holy ground and I declare on behalf of the people you have called you are the head of this ministry my God I declare that every door that is closed over anyone here and any family here as sure as the Lord lives, let that door be open this night. Oh 
God of Zion hear your people speedily let there be a dispatch of angels in the name of Jesus we release angels to homes by the word of the Lord we release finance angels we re thank you for watching like our videos share and subscribe thank you